Hello, everybody, and welcome today. Uh, we have another episode of Shiny New Toys um, for the month of June, right? Yes, this is the sir. month of June. This is some yes, of the stuff sir. that came out in gaming uh, during this month. This is just a small fraction because gaming's a large, big thing. And as always, I'm joined by Barlow. How are you doing today, Barlow? Um, great. Thanks for having me. So you excited for the month of June in gaming? I am. There's some really cool stuff in June. There is. <laughs> so I know I say that every month, but I mean there are some really cool stuff well, that comes yeah. out every month. I will be like really surprised one month when something comes out and we're like, yeah, this came out this month. Like I don't think that's ever going to happen, right? That's because so that's much stuff point. comes out, right? <laughs> and it's all really some of it, not all of it, but some, we've got some really. We got some really cool stuff, and we got some like new reprints and yeah. everything like that. Um, so yeah, what do you say we dive right into it? Let's Whatever. do it. So let's take some of this stuff off the table so they can see our beautiful shining faces. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> and we'll start off with the big one here on the back. Oh, there we go. And. Okay. All right. So, Ticket to Ride Europe came out with their 15th yep. anniversary yep. Uh, box. It looks like it's got some sweet tins in it. Uh, the trains look like they're painted. Like, I don't know. Or they're a little bit different. They look like they're different than, like, the... Because the old one's, like, wood. Yeah. They're, like, wood trains, right? They are, like, little meeple trains. And it's similar thing here. Um, there's just some different storage, a little nicer quality. And it's actually... So this combines the Europe set, and there's a, a second set that comes with it as well. So that where they've combined cards from both of them. So there's 182 uh, to like like ticket locations or whatever for this. So I mean it's it's a, a a good collection if you've not played it before and you're interested in you know getting a nice good quality set. I think this is a great place to start. If you already have the the two kits that this kind of combines. Um, if you're interested in higher quality pieces, I think that's really what it is. is now, for. do you know? So, full disclosure, mm -hmm. you've not played. I've right? not and played. I, I haven't it. either. So, full disclosure, but it did come out, and it's yep. a beautiful box. Yep. So, we're going to talk about it. Um, do you know? Is is this a separate game, or do you need the base ticket to no, ride to play? No, you can, you can play. You can play the game uh, just with this set. So, you can okay. play this whole game. It's a standalone, um, and I believe it is up to five players just just with this this set with no additional. Uh, things required so okay yes, yeah and, and like I said it says two to five players eight plus 30 to 60 minutes we cannot dispute right. any of that because we we've right. actually never played ticket to ride but it is a, a very popular game ticket to ride right. is a very popular game they have tons of expansions for it with yes. different countries yes. and, and all kind of stuff and this is actually a nice anniversary edition right mm -hmm. it comes with tens and, and they did a real good job of kind of scaling up the game a little bit for yep. the 15th anniversary um, yeah, so that came out. Quality piece there. Quality piece. Let's see what we got here. I'm talking about that one here. So this little game, Space <laughs> Park, came out. Now, one thing that caught my eye, first of all, these little card art is fantastic. I'll flip right. it over here in a minute. Um, and then the little rocket ships. The rocket ships are fantastic. Right. They're great. Yeah. And <clears throat> so have you played this game? No, I've not played this game, but I'm familiar with a game that is similar to this called Parks. Okay. Okay. And uh, is it the so, same people? Uh, I believe so. Yes. Okay. So this this particular game, what you are you are a um, space explorer essentially, and you're just trying to see all the different parks in the galaxy essentially. So this is you go from planet to planet, and what you're trying to do is you're trying to collect badges from those planets, or you're collecting crystals. Um, and when you collect those crystals, you can take them to other planets where you can sell them, and you're you're earning points as you go while, while you're doing this. Um, you, you build out basically a ring uh, in between the players and you move around the circles as you jump from planet to planet and you can only jump where the uh, where the, the little rocket ships are. Is that, That's how it determines where you're supposed to okay. go and what you try and get. So it changes, like the, the ring can change every time based on the locations. You can lay it out. Um, I think it's a four player game and there's, I mean there's just a lot packed in the box. It's uh, supposed to play very, very fast. Like I said, this one I've not played. It's very similar to Parks, you know, where you're trying to collect badges. Uh, imagine yourself like a, like a, a space boy scout, right? That's you're right. trying to be a space boy scout. You're trying to collect your badges and, and get your your feet from going around. Those and it's uh, so this is one player too, so I guess you can yeah. play it by yourself yeah. if you if you want. And uh, the one that I love just the back of those cards because they look like they're um, oh postcards yeah, from the exactly. planets, right? Exactly. That's like, exactly what they're like. And that is really neat. Yeah. 
All right. So if you're a fan of parks, you should definitely try you this. Try If you like yep. outer space in the game parks. Yep, exactly. If you're a fan of parks, try this. If you're just a fan of space and fast playing games, this will be the one. All right, and I think you got some Crisis Protocol stuff over there. I right? do well, have right? some Crisis Protocol stuff. Now, there was some <laughs> really cool stuff out uh, for Crisis Protocol. <laughs> and these guys, we talk about them pretty much every month um, yep. because they release new stuff every month because they have the rights to Marvel, it, it looks yeah. like. Um, but what really makes this cool, because first of all, their minis are great. Like, and they're them. all action-packed. Love and them. Like, here, Luke, uh, not Luke Cage, Iron Fist is jumping with a dragon yep. fist. Um, yep. Uh, we've got we've got Cable and Domino here, so I these are both X Men models, and yeah, that that the shield, the shield that up. he has looks fantastic. These are both characters that I mean people would want to play, and let us not forget Deadpool, uh, Deadpool and Bob, Agent of Hydra. Which Deadpool, you can build him with like three different faces, and you can build the rocket. And notice here in the the front where it's got the whoosh. You can build it with or without that. You can build several different faces. One of them has heart eyes. And let's not forget, it comes with a taco truck. Yes. It comes with a Deadpool the has taco a taco truck. truck. Let's see if we can get it on the art eyes there, because that's pretty cool. Yeah. He's got a taco truck. It's, that <laughs> what what screams Deadpool more than a taco truck? Yeah, that's that's Love it. but I think for me, mm -hmm. this month this New York City apartment building terrain pack is awesome. Like it comes with billboards and the right. back there's a water tower on top yep. and the glass on it, like so what this, what really excites me about this is um, several years ago, it was at Gen Con when this game was actually announced, and it was on like, you know, that Friday, so they had a space, and it was just, it was closed off, and they didn't really have anything in it, and then on Friday when they announced it, they popped all this stuff up, and the boards there where they demonstrated uh, the game, you know, where they demoed it on, were just beautiful, and one of the boards, I, I can visualize it in my mind, had an apartment building that somebody had taken and built and it had a water tower on the top it had the doors the air conditioner the dome it had all this stuff and i remember thinking my goodness how cool would it be to play on this board and that's the one we demoed on they had a subway as well which was super cool uh but this one with the apartment building it was it, it just it felt like a spider-man movie and yeah. now a couple years later we actually have a building where we can do that again, where you don't have to build your own apartment building. You know, for, you, you can buy it and, and have it as part of your game. Yeah, can so, you, you can actually look at this building and be like Spider-Man fighting Doc Ock, right? Because those totally two are like, like flying off. Or yeah. There's these green goblins in there, too. Yeah. Um, and you just get a bunch of these apartment buildings. So this there's, is awesome. There's a sign that goes on. The, I don't know if you can see it on the back and on the side. There's a sign you can put up that has Tony Stark uh, just, you know, advertising for consulting. Stark Consulting. It's It's... It's just fantastic. I, I, yeah, and I believe that these guys, Atomic Mass, they're not going to the park, right? Like, oh, they are. The terrain about, is gorgeous. And we talk about it every month, and it's because they release something every month, That's and right. it's pretty sweet. So, um, yeah, love yeah. the apartment building. Atomic Mass, keep it up. I want a subway. I want I'm just telling you, I want, I want a subway building. station. I totally want a subway station because that was amazing. All right, you got anything? You got anything cool yeah. over there? Let's uh, let's talk about the Arkham Horror expansion that came out. This is okay. The Secrets of the Order expansion. Um, what I know about this is that, uh, so I'm a fan of the Arkham Horror card game. This is the board game, which has the, the second edition, has the modular tiles that you set out that go to location to location. This expands the game into the um, old and affluent section of uh, Arkham called French Hill. So anybody that's, that's fans of uh, Arkham knows that uh, there's a whole big history of French Hill, and this actually helps you delve into that. Um, I know there's four new investigators in this uh, section of the game, so it, or in this expansion to the game. So you've got new investigators, new locations, new cards. Um, and again, I think this game can be played with up to six people. So um, Arkham Horror is a, a, a very popular game, um, especially this new second edition with the with the tiles, the hex tiles that you, you separate out. So. Yeah, it's pretty neat. And like all, I mean, all the art's always creepy, right? Like, yeah. you know, they, they take the, better be. the it's, Lovecraft it's, stuff and, yeah. and just and make it really fantasy flight. Uh, it's Cthulhu, it better be. Does, yeah, it does <laughs> really cool with the art on that. Right. All right, so that was another expansion from yes, Arkham sir. Horror. You got something else? Uh, I got uh, something here that's uh, been popular for a while. Oh, I got things yeah, for it. Yeah, yeah here we they go. Because they went crazy this month. Because this isn't like even all the stuff. They released like oh, yeah. a, there's some military zombies. There's like a, there's a DLC yep. for DC. Yep. DLC, but an expansion for right. DC and um, Fort Hendricks, I think, or Fort. Oh wow! Hed yeah, they're, they're, like all that came out this month. 
So this is the this is the original zombie side, which is the one set in modern day. So think, uh, you know, Walking Dead. Think, um, you know, uh, uh, Left for Dead. If you're into video games, those types of things. This is the second edition of Zombie Side, and, and what they've done here is, uh, well, number one, there's 88 models packed in this box. Are they that, the same models, or are they different? Uh, they, they different sculpts, no, they're right? different. They're, they're different, different sculpts. They're different. Yeah, and some of the heroes I think are the same, but the sculpts are different. Um, but what they've done with this is, you know, all the different expansion games that they've done. You know, they've done like Green Hordes. They've done. Um, you know, the, the Black, Plague. Black Plague, exactly. So all those games had little elements of it that, you know, just uh, modified the game a little bit, improved it in certain ways. And what they've done is they've taken those those years of expansions and they've all just, uh, you know, separated out the best rules to make this the, the best rule set for the modern one. Because the original game is great, but it is sometimes a little clunky. Um, you know, no complaints, but I'm not saying it's a bad game, but this this just cleans that up. Um, and just makes it a much, you know, much better playing kind of it, game. It does seem like every time they released one of their mm -hmm. expansions, right, they expanded upon the game and something cooler came out. Absolutely. Of it, right. You know, like, I'm, I love Black Plague. That's, that's um, you know, with one the, of my favorites. Well, then, what was the, uh, the, the um, space one that just came out? Dark... Oh no, not Dark. No, you're talking about uh, Invader Ops In, or uh, Invaders. Invader Ops. Invaders. Invaders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Something Zombicide like that. Invaders. Zombicide Invaders. Yeah. Yep. And they had a Kickstarter for Wild West yes, uh, a minute ago. Did you get on that? I did not get it. Okay. On that. I have a buddy who did. I didn't he get loves on Wild West. I didn't stuff. get on this. This well, this just came out because the Kickstarter just released and they released it to retail too. So um, I'm hoping that our, our buddy. Nate actually will have uh, the Wild West one as well. No, he got Wild West. He got in this. So, yeah. yeah. I'm hoping he'll have it so we can play that. So if you love Zombicide, <laughs> I mean, they're... Yeah. they're they're releasing a bunch of stuff for it, and they, you know, and it's cool. I mean, like, models are great. They're pre-built. You don't have to build anything. They've got um, in this, you know, they've got the nice trays for your character cards and stuff, and for yeah. your equipment um, and the pegs. They just do. I mean, just a nice job. And I'm always a sucker for board game. Well, a that comes with minis, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm always a sucker for board games that are all inclusive, right? Yes. So, like, when you get this, you get the world yeah. of. Zombies taken over. Um, yep. I don't know where it is in this location. I know there's DC expansion, right, but right. but they give you the minis. The maps have you know the streets right. and everything and the car. Yep. So I like all boxes that is the world, right? And it's a it's actually a pretty good deal too. You get 88 zombies and uh, mm -hmm. it's MSRP is a hundred dollars, hundred and ten bucks. So you know two bad. yeah, that's a little less a little over a dollar a fig, right? Yeah. And that's not including if you. Well, plus love all the, the game, hundreds game. of cards and everything else, and the plastic trays that you're keeping your stuff in, plus the pegs, the dice that yeah. you know, and all this, and again, all the other stuff like you know these, these I'll call them accoutrements. Um, you know, they are uh, Ooh, they, they're they're nice little additions, but this this gives you some you know extra extra tiles so you can go into different places that are not necessarily in here. You know, the dice just help you. you know, it's like every game. You can never have enough dice, right? We want we want more dice. Yeah. So that's for this. But like you said, you get the whole game right here. These are just add-ons. Add it's the whole thing. Yeah. That's awesome. Let's see. Yeah. All right. I got something else over there. I have one other thing. Do you want to talk about this? Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that. And this then, actually is. Because you, you're really excited about this. I, I am. And it's uh, because, number one, it fits kind of the uh, type of game that I really like. I like the fantasy adventure games. Um, you know, so Descent, Imperial Assault, Journeys in Middle Earth, you know, those those kind of games, Gloomhaven, all yep. that stuff. I like that, where there's um, adventures and you go through and, and, and play them. Um, and, you know, your characters develop over time. It's kind of like, you know, D&D, but as a board game, yeah. right? Because I love D&D. Well, this is kind of an introductory version. Uh, it's called Andor Family Game. So there's the Legends of Andor, I think, which is kind of a, a more, um, you know, one for uh, you know, players that have played a lot of some of the other games. Okay. This is a good introductory one, right? So, but unlike a lot of introductory games, I think that, um, you know, when they, when they make something with, you know, the family in mind or with children in mind, um, you know, it kind of gets, I'm not going to say dumbed down, but it gets, you know, kind of very, very softened edges and it's, you know, not, not as immersive gameplay experience. And, you know, um, whereas I find that with this, it seems that it is a simple system, but there's depth to it. So that, you know, yes, youngsters can play and, and be part of this, but they can also learn about what it means to play a fantasy adventure game. And it's, you know, you're not... In this, in this module or in this game, you're not trying to go out and, 
um, you know, save save a village from rampaging orcs that are going to, you know, eat children. None of that. Instead, what you're trying to do is you're trying to rescue some wolf cubs. And in order to do that, you have to cross a bridge. And there's a, a man there at the bridge that has sends you on missions. In order for you to do that, you have to help him. And meanwhile, there's a timeline that you're tracking against where there's a dragon that's going to come to the town. So that kind of tracks the, the story of the game. So the objective is... We want to complete these missions, which gives you the storyline element of these games. And then also, you want to rescue the, the wolf cubs. Yeah. Right? That's adorable. I mean, let's face it. <laughs> and you have to do all of this in time so that you can go stop the dragon from attacking the village. Oh, it has a dragon. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all so it's all something that, you know, and, and all the basics of, um, you know, of, of classic fantasy, right? You can play a dwarf. You can play an archer. You can play a warrior. You can play a magician. And it's, it's these tropes that I think, you know, youngsters that maybe have watched some fantasy cartoons or something will be able to connect with, but, you know, with other players, with their families, you know, they'll be able to, to really learn about, uh, you know, I think this is how we get more more people into Dungeons & Dragons so that we have more Dungeons uh, & Dragons yeah. players in the future. I mean, this is, I can't say enough about this and game. That's I, say, I, yeah, yeah. And, I mean, and that's what it builds itself. It says Andor, the family yeah. fantasy game. Yes. And even on the back, it says a big adventure for the whole family. It well, says seven plus years. It the, says... So the next part, though, this is what really is great. Because if you think about, you know, when you play any of the other games that I mentioned, you're going to sit down and you're going to play one of the missions. Maybe there's like 15 missions that you have to play. And each mission takes probably about two hours. Yeah. Right? You know, sometimes you can get away with 90 minutes. But usually it's about two hours. This you can play a mission in thirty to forty-five minutes, and that is and that is for real. You can actually play that in thirty to forty-five minutes. So, um, I, you know, it, you love it. Yeah, I think. Now, what was the one thing you did say? There was one critique so that I, hold on, Cosmo makes this right. Yes, like, that, Cosmo. That, that, that they're listening. So, it's really my, big. My one complaint is the other thing that I love about all those other games that I mentioned is that they have really cool models. You don't get models in this. No, Instead, no, there's there's cardboard standees, and while they get the job done, and I understand if you're playing with, you know, it says for seven plus years. I don't think a seven year old is going to put the model in their mouth, and so I mean, you know, I don't. I, I think you're fine with having actual models. So I would love to see, you know, maybe a, a limited edition version of this with models or like an expansion game. pack yeah, or something it's exactly. just the heroes in a model exactly because i think it's a great game and i think yeah. it plays well especially if you you know if you have kids that want to play you know honestly i would play this with a group of my friends that just wanted to on a friday night that wanted to play a game um but you know didn't want to sit around playing the same game for two hours yeah you say hey let's play this again you know i mean this this you could easily do that with i mean adults adults will be engaged by this just as much as children. And this, yeah, really so you can also start them off while they're young, right? Like, yeah. That's right. right. They save the wolf. Look we at gotta, that. It's on the we got to start helping to, to breed the next generation of gamers. That's our responsibility. All right. So I don't have the main game with me here, but Happy Little Dinosaurs. I actually did a video on this. Um, came out. <laughs> and this is the f five to six player expansion. And this is uh, Perils of Puberty expansion pack for Happy Little Dinosaurs. <laughs> and I absolutely love Happy Little Dinosaurs. I think this game... What's your favorite part about it? So my favorite part... Well, first of all, the art. Yeah, the art's yeah, on it, totally, right? Totally. And then also, I love... Uh, in the beginning, it has that stag is, is yep. the one on the cover of the, the main box. And it just says, smile. It's almost over. Like, he's just sitting there smiling. His comments are coming, like, behind him. <laughs> That's, um, that's what's hilarious about this game is I, it's the same people that did Unstable Unicorns, but you know the premise is you're you're a dinosaur you're you're trying to avoid these disasters and I love I love how they separate down the disasters too right so there can be a, a predatory disaster I mean yeah. like a bigger dinosaur is coming to eat you or it could be you know a, a, like a, a global environmental disaster meteor you know? yeah yeah or it can be an emotional disaster so, yes. <laughs> That's great. Yes, we had one of our players play. What was the Triceratops? I believe is the uh, one of the dinosaurs' names Triceratops. is Triceratops, um, and uh, they get bonuses, you know, depending on how they handle disasters yeah. and stuff. So, That's yeah, amazing. this game is it's great. I think it's I think it's clever. I love yeah. the art on it, and I think a lot of times these type of games, the art sells it. Yeah, right, exactly. Like, the art, the, the art's just a selling point. So I highly recommend this game because I've actually played this one. That's so cute. I love it. That's well, it's another one of those where like the art sells it, but the game keeps it. You know, I mean, you'll you'll go back for more if you've played Unstable Unicorns. It's a fun, fast playing game. That's anything um, else over there? No, or, nothing else. Oh, Barlow. Or we get to do something fun. 
We get to do something fun. So, I don't know if you know this, but Barlow is a, uh, a Star Wars fan. I like it. Uh, he likes Star Wars and Lord of the Rings. And um, <laughs> classic. <laughs> and so we had another expansion for Star Wars X-Wing came out. I believe there was an Armada one as well. It was like yeah. one little ship. The right? Pelta like, class. The Pelta yeah. class. Yeah. But, so when I did this uh, on the Thursday night new release section yeah. of the thing... Uh, I thought this thing was wicked looking, like because it looks so cool. This because um, it's got like tentacles. Yeah. So we're gonna open this up. I can't you, wait. You, you want to open this? Up. You want to open this up? This. Do you need a, a knife or you? I got probably it? don't. I'm probably gonna be like a kid on Christmas. I just can't wait to open this. And thing you want to see if it so articulates, right? That's exactly what I want to see. I have not had this open. I don't know anything about this one yet. I know what? I know what the ship is, obviously, and that it's there's even an Asajj Ventress uh, card in here, so you can make it her particular ship uh, if you want to, or you can just be a standard Trident class assault ship. But what I want to know. Is and I I gotta tell you, I'm not hopeful. I'm not hopeful that they move. But man, wouldn't it be awesome? <gasps> oh my god! Oh oh, oh, they, oh my! Uh -oh. oh my god! This one this one definitely moves up and down. This one moves a little bit here. This one no, this one doesn't because that's the bottom one. That's where they have to mount it. But the ones from the sides go out a little bit. See, I was hoping these would be like rubber or something that they might be able to move. Yeah. But I mean, it comes with a lot of stuff, like on the cards and everything. Well, and this, so this is actually for, this isn't for Armada. This is for X-Wing. Oh, that's the uh, Armada? Yeah, this is oh. an X-Wing one. So um, this is going to be one of the large ships, like the Corvette and the um, and the, the, the TIE Transport, those ships. But see, these move out a little bit at yeah, least. Yeah, that thing's wicked looking though. Yeah. And the paint job's actually really good on those. Like, How cool is that? Look, it looks like a giant squid too with the eyes yeah. on the side. That's the way it flies. So, all right. I'm not... I'm not as disappointed as I you thought. Are, because you, yeah. I'm not disappointed because these actually do move a little bit. There was kind of like a roller coaster ride there, though, because yeah. the, you grabbed the top one and it moved first. And I like, did. oh, this thing's totally <laughs> articulated. And then you're like, oh, man. Yeah, but still. Still, awesome ship. Um, and like you said, there's there's a lot of good cards in this particular one. It's one of the large uh, sets. So you have to use the, um, you know, the, the large what do they call it, uh, epic scale when you do the battles with them. So you have to use the epic scale rules for it. But it's... Um, if you like Clone Wars, come on. There you How's go. How's that not cool? Look at that. I wonder if it'll stand even. Oh, no. Look at that. We got... <laughs> this is great. I can't wait. I'm so glad this actually started to move. I picked that up and I was so excited. All right. Well, so that is just the tip of the iceberg, if you will, of some of the items that came out in the month of June um, in gaming. Um, and um, so, yeah. Um, if you do uh, would like to get any of these items, uh, please, please check your friendly local game store first. Uh, see if they have it in stock. If they don't, you're welcome to check the link below. Also, um, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe because it genuinely does help um, our channel as we're, we just started. So we're, we're trying to grow it. And uh, like always, Barlow, man, I really appreciate you coming in here and just talking about some of this cool stuff that came out. Thank you for having me. I love it. I enjoy uh, all of this. Star Wars Andor. I'm most excited about Andor. I gotta tell you, I'm, I was pretty excited about this. Well, and let's face it, an apartment building for Crisis Protocol. Yeah, that apartment building is that. pretty cool. So there was. There's a lot of cool stuff this week we could talk about. <laughs> All right, y'all, and like always, y'all have a wonderful one now, and thank you for joining us. We'll see you. Thanks, everyone. Bye now.